Hey y'all, hey, welcome back to my channel. It's Christian here. You're tuned in for more of my two cents. If you are new to the channel, then welcome. Thank you so much for coming over here. Hopefully you will enjoy today's conversation and video and you will click around, stick around and join the two cents community. We would love to have you. And if you are a returning two center, then welcome back family. So happy to have you here for another video. Today is not going to be a religious topic. We're going to be talking about this past um, well, this previous weekend's Black Friday. So let's get into that. Now, I did not get my three points that matter most in my last video. And y'all know I got to do that, even though that was a church video. This one ain't, but we still gonna do them. Number one, you're not alone. Number two, you're not crazy. Number three, God, your creator so loves you. And I do too. Now, if you're living under a rock, a rug, or a building, honey, I don't know. Maybe you just don't care anymore like I don't. Black Friday is the time of the year where people make money. Businesses make money. It's the opportunity to have sales, deals, drive revenue, get a whole lot of customers, consumers to buy, shop, all of that with you, and put your company's numbers back in the black to be profitable before the end of the year. I know there are a lot of different myths and things that, you know, swirl around Black Friday. It was the time of year when blacks, and, well, when Africans, well, not, I'm sorry, when slaves were sold, okay? Black Friday sale was for, was when black people was for sale. Now, I personally have not researched that to know whether or not it is true. I just choose not to accept and believe that because I know sometimes emotions can be pulled on and played on with those kind of different stories and they start circulating and that people just accept them as truth. I have always known Black Friday to only be connected to revenue to get people out of the red and into the black by the end of the year, mainly, mostly, only companies, corporations, and business. That's it. That's the only connection in time. Um, and so this year, for a while, Black Friday has kind of just like taken a nosedive down the drain. The economy, you know, of course, has contributed to that. But I think overall consumers are just a little bit smarter than ever before about how some of these companies are indeed not giving deals at damn all. OK, that was not a proper sentence, <laughs> but whew, it grinds my gears. And one of the number one retailers got caught OK, this year. And I'm so glad, I'm so glad about it. Come on. I'm so glad. Yes, we are. I'm so glad about it. I'm so glad because, see, even though I have a business and even though I have a product-based business and even though I ran some deals, I did not market it as Black Friday anything. I, I am over the Black Friday Cyber Monday marketing of it all. If you're going to run a deal, give a deal. OK, we're going to get more into that. But this video is going to be about the mind games, <laughs> the mind games, the manipulation that is happening right now in society is beyond anything I've ever seen. And I'm so glad that I'm open and I'm free and I'm clear, like I'm not under the pressure or the <sighs> clouded notion that there is someone that holds something that I need and I have to perform a certain way in order to get it or I have to do something to fit in with the status quo of what everybody else is doing because more than likely if you're the small guy in any big picture or situation there's someone doing something that's still not right and fair while you're doing all of the things that are meant to be fair and equal and you still miss out and lose out and that's why things like this makes my heart happy when people get caught up playing games. I'm going to play this video in case you have not seen it. And after that, I will be back with my two cents. And if you are on TikTok, you may have seen viral videos about Black Friday pricing over at Target. The store is now issuing a response. This video shows a woman in Target taking off the Black Friday deal signs. And underneath, you see the prices never changed. Social media was shocked by this, but in a statement, Target says the TVs were on sale before Black Friday and they continued to offer those items at that same discounted price. Some popular retailers will have deals on Black Friday. However, those deals are also run throughout the year as well. And if you are on. OK, so there you can see the video where the shoppers, <laughs> the shoppers, y'all, I don't know what made these people do this to these signs, but I'm glad they did. I'm so glad about it. 
I'm so glad they did. I'm glad. I'm glad. I, my heart leaps for joy. Yes. Every time people who play games in the faces of others get exposed. Okay. I know they say every time a bell rings, an angel gets his wings. Baby, every time somebody get exposed, honey, I want to take off my clothes. <laughs> Just playing. That's the only thing that rhymed, okay? That's the only thing that rhymed at the time. And so I just had to use the line, okay? Bars. Um, but no, every time something comes out about people, you know, companies, churches, organizations, cults, you know, whatever, they get exposed. I am happy because that is just. It is the best way to get people in mass numbers to detach from certain things. Not everybody, but by mass numbers, you will have people to start falling away from the system that is created to make people feel bad. People go into debt, people um, to just override their own logic and will because they feel like they have to do things that everyone else is doing, or they have to be in the know of things because Somebody else may be doing it or, or have it or see it before them. And at the end of the day, you're getting played, period. Whether you ever find out whether there's ever a news story. I was so glad when I saw that news clip because I saw it on TikTok. But when I saw this news clip, when I was getting ready to do this video, I was like, this is perfect. Because when it's a news story, baby, when they make it to the news, honey, people understand and believe that this is real. This is not a game. Target's statement is such BS and I'm going to tell you why it's BS, y'all, and why you should keep your head clear on a swivel. And, and not just in this case, but in all cases, be a critical thinker, right? Target's statement is such BS because they said the TVs were already on sale before Black Friday. So they continue to keep it on sale through Black Friday. No, <laughs> no, no, ma'am, sirs, no. What you don't understand is that whatever sale you had going on prior to Black Friday, you need to discount that some more. There were small businesses and companies who were running 25 and 20% off early access. But then when Black Friday week came or the actual Black Friday day was here, they gave 40 and 50 and up to 60% off. So the fact that you're a multi-billion dollar corporation and you thought that leaving TVs at 449 because they were 449 the week before Black Friday. So we're just going to keep that sale running. No, you're missing the point of the sale. You're missing the point of the shopping experience. You're missing the point of the marketing that you all have created. How is it that people who like to create social norms or certain cues in certain industries and aspects of existence, when it benefits them, they change the rules up. I don't care if it was, if it's a regular $78 and it was $52 last week. So we just going to keep it on sale for $52 this week. No, baby. That's when the price becomes $15. <laughs> you go from the 78 to the 52 to the 15. That's how deep the discount needs to be for me. Right? If you all set the rules in the expectation levels way back in the day when we was all kids, right? And our parents was ditching out on Thanksgiving to go camp out in front of Best Buy, Circuit City, you know, all these other stores. They were doing that, st sitting in tents, in in um, uh, what, sleeping bags, people in their cars sleep, taking turns, standing on the sidewalk in front of the door so they don't lose their place. If people were doing that back then, you best believe it was because the deals were dealing, honey. The deals were dealing and the money was money and the money was stretching. When they went through those doors. Now you want me to believe that the same people that made the rules have the right to change the rules and then expect me to still play the game? No, <laughs> no, 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 no. And that's what continues to happen. So in my mind, when I saw this story, I was like, see, this is so messed up to me because consumers already have been saying that they weren't shopping this year. And it wasn't even about not having money, y'all. It wasn't about that. Even though the economy may be 
uh, plummeting or not doing well and people may not have the money they want and prices are up on groceries and, and home costs and things like that, people are still buying. People are still spending. That's always going to happen because there are needs and there are wants and desires. And there are a lot of people who feel like they're not just working to pay bills and die. Even if they got to make something wait, they're going to still make something shake. If I got to make this bill wait, I'm still going to make something shake so I can go in here and get what I want. That's going to happen. That is how we process and still allow ourselves to have some joy in our lives. So people were going to spend money this Black Friday and Cyber Monday and Small Business Saturday. They were going to do that. But when you decide that even at your grandiose status, at your multi-billion dollar level, you're going to play in the face of the people that keep your doors open all year round just for one weekend, you couldn't find it in your your red heart, <laughs> your red target heart, you couldn't find it in your heart to actually make the TVs 200 and sell more units? No. Okay. But somehow Walmart finds and manages to be able to put TVs on sale for 189 for one day that were 600 and 500 dollars. How? Greed, y'all. And you're talking to someone who knows gain because I'm going to tell you this. The more that a company buys, the higher price break they receive. If you as a sole individual are going to buy a TV from a supplier, they're going to give it for you probably at a wholesale cost. That's maybe 20% less than market value. They'll give you 20% off as a if it's like in a warehouse sale or something. But if you go in there and you say, oh, I want 200 of these TVs, baby, they're going to give you a nice wholesale price. They're going to discount that deeply because you're ordering at scale. That's called ordering at volume. The, the higher the volume you buy, the bigger the discount, the bigger the save, right? So, Think about this in terms of a Target, a Walmart, um, a, a Best Buy, or um, a Dick's Sporting Good. They're buying these things at volume. They're buying 2 million, maybe hundreds of thousands of certain products annually, sometimes quarterly, because they're going through so much of it. These people are getting huge price breaks. And you're going to tell me that you didn't feel it in your chest to decrease that 449 and that two and that 329 down from last week, greed, disrespect, and games. Not to mention the fact that you have smaller businesses out here that really don't have the, the profit margins that most of these major companies have. This is how they choke out and cause smaller businesses to just not exist because when they can't offer the deep discounts, they do but they know that you can't. <laughs> so they know that you're not buying at scale the way that they are. So they become true, real competition because unless people just have a loyalty and they're just like, oh, I'm gonna buy from you regardless of what your prices are, they know that people are going to always come back to them because they can afford to drop the price on it and you can't. Right now, as I, as I record this video, it's the 30th. Tomorrow is December 1st. I'm already getting early access texts and emails from Bath & Body Works for their candle deal. Uh, where their candles, their three-week candles are $9.95, right? $10 three-week candle. That's a big candle. That's usually $26.95, y'all. Let me tell y'all. Let put y'all on game. Let me put y'all on game. So what they have the ability to do as a private labeler, because Bath & Body Works does not manufacture their own cam candles. They're able to private label candles through a manufacturer that probably manufactures candles for some of the leading candle companies in the world, right? So they're able to manufacture multiple millions of can candles a year. They probably don't sell multiple millions of candles throughout the year, but during this sale, they are able to make the most money ever from candles. They know that they can drop their price to $10 per candle because it probably only cost them 2 or $3 to get the candles made, y'all. Are you following me? It might even only cost them a dollar or two. Are you following me? Because they're making, they're ordering millions, millions of candles. People all over the world order these candles on this day. They're ordering millions from their manufacturer so their price break is probably 
crazy. It's probably bananas. That $26.95 they've charged throughout the year, they're probably making hand over fist, as my mama would say. But on this day, they drop it. They drop it by 16 bucks because they have the margin. They know that the hand poured candles, right, that you're promoting on social media that are soy and doesn't have paraben, they don't care about that. You want to know why? Because they found their consumer that doesn't care either. Consumers care about soy candles. Sure, if they're on sale, but if they're not, I'm going to get what smells good. And if you're telling me, oh, this isn't good for my for my breathing or for this or for that, eh, I just won't burn it as long, but I'm going to get these $10 candles. That's the mindset. So what you need to figure out is how you will scale your business, grow your business, truly become a competitor in this market and be able to, if not put all of your products half off, 60% off, at least one or two, find your margin where you can drop at least one or two candles to the same price to be comparable or have a big deal and drop like Bath and Body Works. That's how you start competing in a market when they make the rules, decide to change the rules, but still want you to play the same game. That's not how this goes. It's time to switch the roles, reverse, like throw that reverse card out like this Uno and get what's yours because they're going to continue to get what's theirs off of our backs. And while to some people it may not seem like anything, it's everything because in the grand scheme of things, they are the ones that either get to um, increase access to certain things or revoke access by making you feel as if though once it's gone, you won't have access to it anymore. Well, no, the thing about this is that, baby, I will always be able to get a candle. <laughs> it just may not be from you. But if they were to switch this up to $12.95 in a couple of years, they wouldn't get the same response. They would have to recondition the mind of the consumer by that point because people have gotten used to this from them during this time of year. So what Target did was something that was very dumb and very reckless, and I am so glad they got caught because that's a game that you should not play on the backs of people who are willing to shop with you if you truly give them a deal worth them taking, an offer worth them taking. And when people can trust you and when people can depend on you to actually be a good resource, a consistent resource, you will have customers and consumers for life. So I say shame on them, but kudos to us as consumers and everyday individuals who are not playing these games anymore with people. And if you notice this stuff here out in the open, in the public, in the world, surely enough, we can be smart enough to take the blinders off and unchain ourselves from the people in church that play games too. Because who knows what kind of Black Friday seed and offering they had y'all given on Sunday, honey. We don't know. We don't know. But hopefully you don't get got and you don't get played with. The same uncloaking and unveiling and exposure that these bigger companies are getting, this stuff is happening in our lives, in our worlds on a regular basis. And we just have to be willing to accept it and see it when it happens in our faces why is this being exposed why is this being shown so you can be smarter so that you can be a smarter person and move differently and think critically whenever anything is presented to you it's not always as it seems even though it may be what you want it to be it ain't that it may not be everything but I can tell you right now you won't miss a thing if you see it for what it is so uh, that's my take on the Target exposure during Black Friday. I thought it was funny, um, but at the same time, I was shaking my head as a consumer and as a small business owner. I was just like, this is trash. Like, this is trash behavior. Um, and I just, thumbs down. Like, that's just me. And um, yeah, continue to reveal and expose these people and take it for what it is and for what you see it as because it is not. Like they say, it was done in the dark, comes to the light. It will always come to the light and will always be for your good. So um, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Let me know below. Did you shop for Black Friday? Did you grab some things from where? What did you like? What deals? I saw some memes that said Black Friday uh, ain't black enough for me. <laughs> and I totally agree. There were just some things that were confusing. Like everybody this year was marketing up to. Like nobody was giving direct discounts. It was like you can get save up to 60%, up to 80%. I'm like, yeah, probably on a shoestring. You probably marked the shoestrings down 80%, but huh, words, words, words. People know how to 
you know, maneuver their words around and make you think that something's happening that's really not. But drop down in the comment section below and let me know if you shop this Black Friday Cyber Money Small Business Weekend, what you got and how do you feel about Target being exposed? Are you a Target shopper? Or, you know, do you think it was a mishap that they should just get a pass on? Either way, we'll talk about it in the comments. Join the channel, like the video, subscribe. We love to add you to our Two Cents crew. Until next time, take care. Catch y'all in the next video. Bye.